Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your girl Bun and I'm back with another video. A while back, Tati uploaded a video of Scott Barnes, which is JLo's makeup artist, doing her makeup. People were trying out, they were following that tutorial and trying it on their face to see how it would turn out on them. He has a very unique technique and I've never done a makeup like that, so if you haven't seen Tati's video of Scott Barnes doing her makeup, go watch it. I will link it down in my description box, but yeah, so today I'm going to be following a Scott Barnes makeup tutorial. Well, we all know JLo is like queen, and when he did Tati's makeup, just gorgeous. And now, he did mention on the video, it is not just day-to-day -day makeup, it is like film makeup, it's red carpet makeup, performance makeup, so it's like... It's going to be good in all lighting, so it might be in person a little intense, but I'm not scared because... And I'm going to be using his techniques and the way that he does it, and I'm going to see how it looks. I'm going to see what, what's popping. So I'm going to put my hair back because we're going to get down and we're going to get dirty. Okay, so he goes in with a concealer first, and he did mention that he did not prime, so we're not priming. Okay, Scott. He used um, Urban Decay All Nighter. I don't have that. I don't have any of these products, but it's not about that. It's about the technique, okay? I'm gonna use my e.l.f. This is the 16 hour camo concealer. He said he goes ham, so. <laughs> okay. He kind of goes down the nose. So you don't see it. Now, this is everybody's like, where do I contour? So this is always the question, right? So mm -hmm. I bring the light right all the way up to the edge. Really? And sometimes you see really bad nose contour and it looks like they're behind bars. Okay, couple brushes. Let's let's talk about So he brings the concealer like right up to the edge of the nose. I look crazy. So he just goes in with this kind of flat brush and starts to blend it in. And he said on the nose, just kind of blend it up. Okay. Well, now I don't really have much. I don't think, I think I put too much concealer on my nose, but here we are. Now he goes in with cream contour and it looks like the color he's using is pretty warm. I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Cocoa. I'm gonna put some on my hand. Oh yeah, this is really warm. This on my hand, and that's how I'm going to apply it. I'm gonna put a lot because I'm gonna use this real flat contour brush and dip it in, and he really snatches. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, okay. Ooh, yes. Snatched. Snatched. Oh, and he, oh my god. And then he says to Go like down to make your neck skinny. What is happening? What is happening? Do I have a skinny neck yet? He took it all the way down on her chest and everything. Yeah, I'm not gonna do all that, but let's continue. Okay. okay. And then a lot on the forehead hitting right here so mm -hmm. I'm just taking it down that's all you just... so you do makeup differently per shoot per lighting like you really... I look like a gazelle he did contour around the lips which is an issue now the trick to having a fuller lip it's not overlining it to death. It 
now he took a foundation he's going to blend this out I'm gonna take a little bit of look at that mess I'm gonna take a little bit of my uh, NARS radiant foundation and just start blending this all in Now he took a lighter foundation. I do have my Makeup Revolution stick foundation and it's it's pretty light so I'm going to use that. And he goes over the, since he doesn't want to mess up the concealer, the lightened area, he just kind of goes and blends that together like this. And then we're going to use a little bit of lighter foundation because we don't want to take away the contouring. Okay, and then for the lips, he just kind of pats over. I never have foundation lips because I actually hate it. So I can't wait to wipe my foundation off my lips. So he has not done anything with the nose contour yet, which makes me nervous, but we're trusting Scott. Okay, he's doing blush now. He's going in with a cream blush. The closest to cream blush I have is this little ColourPop. This is the Super Shock Cheek. I'm gonna take this little stippling brush. He's using a stippling brush. I'm just gonna dip in here and then go in with some blush on the cheeks. Oh, I actually like this brush with this blush. <laughs> this is really cute. This is in Birthday Suit. It's by ColourPop. All right, Scott, when are we gonna do this nose contour? Cause, making me nervous. I think he went in with a tad bit more of concealer. I think this is what he did, I'm not really sure. He's doing something under the eye and then the nose contour goes away. I think he picked up a little bit more of concealer and he's placing it here. Okay, I don't really know what he did here. I'm just gonna do what he did with the, the lips. We're just going to pat that foundation brush over this nose. Oh no. Oh dear God. Kind of dried. I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to take my Born This Way concealer and help myself here. I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm just going to pat. So now he's setting with some powder. He's not doing too much powder. I'm gonna go in with this pointed foundation brush, I think, yeah. And I'm just gonna set my under eyes like he's doing. So he went in with highlighter. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty, the Hustla Baby and Mean Money highlight. I'm just gonna use my highlighting brush and just go in where he did which is a lot on the cheekbones. All right, he went on the tip of the nose and then kind of down the bridge of the nose. And then he applied it on the brow bone right now, okay? And he has a whole brush set which I want so bad his brushes look amazing um, but he's using them all and this one that he's using for to bronze up looks so now he went in with the bronzer I'm gonna go in with my morphe bronzer this is in uh, vlogger and I'm gonna take my big fan brush he kind of stamped it look at that I just want to show you two strokes Ooh. yeah this is with just a little bit of powder. It's beveled so that you can work with the curves of this brush. It, I created this so that you guys could not think about it. I hate one that looks like there's a stripe. So let's toast the edges. Oh my God, everything is so intense. When you place it on top of what you've already done, my nose is looking... Okay, he did lip. I'm gonna chill and wait until the very end because 
Y'all know I gotta have my lips moisturized until the very end. So now he's doing the brows with a, with a powder. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows like I usually do because that's what I do. There's these three powders in here and I use this for my eyebrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill those in really quick. Now he went and did a little bit more contour and then he went in with a powder and I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me. This is just a regular pressed powder. So he's just taking some product and softening the, the lines and he's kind of brushing up. Okay. It has shimmer in it, but a slight amount to it. And feel how I'm kind of working mm -hmm. upwards and going against it? takes that sharp hardness away. For the eyes, he just does one simple shadow kind of in the crease in a circular motion. He just kind of keeps it in the crease and keeps the lid more so blank and then does the same shadow on the lower lash line and kind of connects it here and then we'll put a shimmer on the lid. I'm gonna go in with this Butter London palette. This has just kind of these, these colors. It's a really cute palette. So I'm gonna go in this little brush and just hope for the best. So he kind of goes in the crease. Oh. Now, still one color. I just wanna keep reminding everybody. Okay. This is not the same shade is what he used, but... Lash line. He ran some on the lower lash line and kind of connected it up. And then he did just a lid color. I'm gonna take this queen. I'm gonna place some of this on the lid. My colors are obviously different, but you know. I think he did a little bit of that color on the um, lash line, the upper lash line, and just kind of stamped that color here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of like gold, maybe. All right, so let's pop on some mascara. Just did half a lash, because I really like how that looks, and I did some lower lash mascara. And here we are. All right, so he did like a really nude lip, so I'm gonna use my little uh, NYX Nude Truffle. My favorite lip pencil. And you can really still see that contour we did underneath. I'm gonna use this liquid lip, this Dose of Colors in Sand. It's really nude and then he did put a gloss on Top. I don't know what he used, but I'm gonna use this. He did a really pretty gloss over. I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Infallible. This is their eight hour pro gloss. This is in 405 Coral Sands. I'm gonna put this on top. Oh. All right guys, so this is the finished makeup look. Can you say it's natural? Like he says, I mean, come on. So this is the completed makeup look. This was so much fun. Makeup is really fun to try different things and I think that sometimes, as myself, we just kind of like get in the routine of like just knowing what we're doing. 
So this was really fun to switch it up and find out what else looks you know, what else could work. So I definitely have a lot of takeaway from this video. There's so many cool techniques that I will definitely be trying again. And yeah, this was a really good time. Do I look natural? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time filming it. I will see you in my next one.